I didn't really take it a certain way. You know, um, they have their way of doing things. You know, um, I can only respect it. But you know, when we when it's time to play them, you know, we'll be ready. You know, got to take it one game at a time. So right now, I got to focus on BYU. Uh, right side here, third row. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I would have to. Um, you know, uh, I'm a great receiver out the backfield. Um, and with our new offense, you know, we have a lot of plays where, you know, I'll be active out the backfield as a route runner. So, yeah, I would have to. Left side in the back. Hey, uh, Ben Baby from the Dallas Morning News. Uh, saw you going back and forth with uh, Leon O'Neal a little bit. One of A and M's recruits. I mean, what, what, what's your take on all that, and kind of what are your thoughts on that whole situation? That's, that's just a little Twitter fun, man. You know, it, it wasn't nothing serious to me. Um, you know, just just a little, just a little incoming, you know, freshman, you know, getting too excited. <laughs> you know, I probably won't even play against him in college. It was just a little fun to me. So, that's all that was. It wasn't nothing serious like that. Nah, I mean, a lot of people, you know, think they tough, you know, until they actually get to college. So. You know, I'll see what he does when he get to college. Uh, also on the left in the back, Rachel. I apologize if anybody's asked about Matt Canada, but what has it been like? Um, he, he's, he's known for, you know, motions, a lot of movement, for trying to disguise things and, and catch the defense out of position. What's it been like to play for him and considering what you had in the past? What's been the difference? <laughs> He's done exactly that. <laughs> like, so uh, even our defense, you know, we get them all off guard, catch them off guard, slipping, and then, you know, bust around wide behind them. And like, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a fun offense. You know, we could do a lot with it. You know, it's, it's very, you know, it's stressful at times for us, too, because <laughs> we got a lot going on before the play actually get called. But, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a great one. And, you know, I can't, I can't wait to run it this year, man. Uh, left side, second row. So I'm I'm on the sideline. I don't even think I was looking. Like I, I like I had I was on the knee and I was facing the fans. Like I didn't even want to see it. But um, me, so like right when I, when I heard the ball snap, I turned around. And I stood up and like I get to watching. You know, because the first thing that came to my mind, you know, you got to trust the coach. You got to trust the process. You know, I trust the players that's on the field. And um, <clears throat> I thought we had it. So when <laughs> when I saw DJ catch the ball, I was the, maybe the first one to him in the end zone when I thought we won. And then when I saw them replaying it and I saw that the ball was a snap, you know, when the time expired, I was like, and like I almost passed out on the field because <laughs> all my hype and energy just went right down to negative zero. <laughs> like it was just terrible. <laughs> but, you know, it, it makes you who you are. You know, the losses and, you know, the bad times, you know, make you better, you know, as a player and, you know, as a person. You know, you, you got to learn how to accept and live with those. You know, every, you're not going to win every game. You know what I mean? Even an undefeated team sometimes lose one game in a year. Like, you just not going to always get what you want. You know, you just got to you know, take it, go with it, and, you know, keep pushing and keep going to the next game. Uh, left side, Lee Blucher. Lee Shervanian, WNSP Radio Mobile. Describe your running style. If you were a play-by-play -play announcer, describe your running style. Like a pinball. <laughs> well, announcers have said that you run angry. Is that <clears throat> fair? That, that is fair. Um, my running style is all over the place. I'm wild. You know, I feel like, you know, the stronger and wilder you run, you know, the more you get out of the play. You know, the extra yard I'll probably get. Um, when you run soft, high, slow, and mellow, you know, you're most likely not going to end up going forward at the end of the play. That's just my whole process of every play. I want to end the play going forward. So that's just how I look at, you know, how I run. I just want to go forward every play. Um, left side, second row, Chris. Chris Walsh, SEC Country. Um, you were talking about the Auburn game before. Is there one game in particular this year that you're just like, man, I can't wait for that game. I'm really excited for that one. Uh, this year, yeah. BYU. You know why? Because <laughs> it's my first game. So I can't wait for that game. I can't wait to get this season started. Like, I'm just so ready. <laughs> uh, right side here, second row. Uh, 
Um, I hope I get more than two carries against BYU. <laughs> you know, um, like I said, Bama's, you know, way further down in the season. I got to focus one game at a time, bro. So if I do that and the whole team do that, we can be unstoppable. Once we get to worrying about Florida and Bama, that's when the whole team lost already. Got to focus on what's right ahead of you. So camp, I, can't, I hope I get two or more carries at the scrimmages during camp. So. Uh, left corner, Rachel. Uh, Barrett, go ahead. Hey, Darius Barrett, Slee with CBS Sports. I got two questions since uh, you could probably stay here all day if we, if we keep giving these microphones out. So, uh, one, what's it like when Arden Key's coming in pass pro and you got to get you got to take him on? And then two, uh, tell me about the suit. What, what were your thoughts when you uh, saw it on the mannequin and how'd you end up with it? Well, well Arden, <clears throat> Arden know not to rush at me. He know I'm going to cut him. So, <laughs> he don't even rush me. <laughs> Whenever I'm on his side, he don't even rush really because, you know, I'm going to just go straight for his legs. And, um... On the suit, man, you know, um, actually I picked up this style from Arden. You know, every, every game, uh, Arden always got the crazy blazer jacket going. Like, he always got some type of style and design with his blazers. And when I walked in, you know, to the store, you know, to go suit shopping a week ago, I saw this on the mannequin, bro, and I, I'm looking at the mirror, and I was like, man, let me take this off this thing and see how I look it. <laughs> so I put it on, and I say, yep, that's what you wearing Monday, bro. <laughs> and that's, that's how I came up with it, bro. Right, we have time for one last question. Yeah, to piggyback off uh, Lee's question just a moment ago, he said announcers say you, you run angry, and you said yes, you would say that's true. Was there somebody like in your life that disrespected you, something bad that happened that you think about when you, when you play? Is there, is there, do you play with a chip on your shoulder? If not, that's okay, but I'm just curious if there's something behind that angry running. Yeah, there is something behind it. And um, I guess it's you know, what I've been through my whole life, you know, um, my family's still in it, and I guess, you know, the reason I run while I run is, you know, just to get my family away from it. I don't want my family to be in the situation anymore. You know, um, I'm very fortunate to be here. You know, I'm very fortunate to be alive, you know, from where I come from. And, you know, I guess I just run for better, for better days for my five-year-old brother, you know, for my mom, you know, and my older brother, you know. I just run for better days for them. I feel like that's where all the anger and, you know, all the angerness come from, just wanting better days.